let's get into the four forces of flight. We're going to dig into these things deeper than I dig into a four cheese dip at a Packers tailgate party. So right off the bat, we've got thrust, lift, weight, drag. All right. Thrust needs to be equal to drag and weight needs to be equal to lift if we want to be in straight and level unaccelerated flight, which is where we're going to spend 90% of our time as pilots once we're done with all of our training. Of course, as we're going through training, we are, we are not in straight and level flight. If we're in straight and level flight, we are burning gas and wasting money, right? We need to be training. But for us to be in straight and level unaccelerated flight, thrust needs to be equal to drag, weight needs to be equal to lift. So if we have 100 pounds of thrust, we need 100 pounds of drag. If we have 3,000 pounds of weight, we need 3,000 pounds of lift. Now, of course, this is somewhat of an oversimplification of the relationship of all of these, you know, if we point an airplane up into the air like you see at EAA Air Venture, you know, them, them hanging off of the propellers, obviously thrust is now opposing weight and we're not necessarily using the wing to generate lift, but like, let's be honest, like a propeller, like, it's, it's really just a wing that's doing little spinny, spinny, butt, spinny bits. Um, so for the simplification of this lesson and you know for you going through training um, if thrust equals drag and weight equals lift we are in straight and level unaccelerated flight 